Hello and welcome to this week's Angelical Card Reading for week commence in the 11th of November 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to understand your reason for being here, spread your wings and soar, come out of that spiritual closet and take the steps to become who you are truly meant to be in this lifetime and take charge of your destiny. Now this week we're using Carl Gray's Keepers of the Light Oracle Cards. But as always before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And of course, again, thank you to everyone who joined me for the first um, live uh, show I did last Friday where um, every Friday at 3 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube, I'm going live where I pull a card for everyone who's watching and then I do a guided meditation um, for that card for a weekend reset for you. So you can chill out after um, the week of working, ready for the weekend or ready for a weekend of work if you're working at the weekend. So do check out Fridays, 3 p.m. live, Facebook and YouTube and I offer a couple of card readings as well um, for anyone who's watching well for the first three people when I ask I'm on the card reading and of course there's my Soul Path Discovery program which I'm absolutely um, enjoying working on and um, that's ready to go out there um, so if you're interested um, then do contact me to find out more about that um, it's something that's going to change your life and I can say that categorically. Anyway, as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So, what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week commences in the 11th of November 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week commencing the 11th of November 2024. We've already had a card that seemed to want to come out whilst that was shuffling, so we've taken that one out. Okie doke. So the cards we have got are Lady Portia, Divine Order, Do What You Feel Is Right, An Important Lesson Is Unfolding. The Shekinah, Sacred Self, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. And we have Radha, Soul Flame, rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship harmony and healing. It's very interesting that we've got all feminine um, energy uh, coming out um, of these cards, you know. So this is a week of... Um, connecting in with your divine feminine, um, you know, that caring, nurturing, spiritual, inquisitive side of yourself. Um, allow that to come out um, this this week, um, you know, whether you're male or female, that's that caring, intuitive, um, spiritual, curious side is so important at this moment. But what they're saying is, you know, there are lessons that are unfolding at the moment and these are very important lessons and if you can stay in your own sovereignty, your own power and allow them to unfold as you actually be yourself, you know, you actually call back those parts of you that have been, that have been lost so that you come back fully to yourself, you'll be able to actually understand and learn from these lessons that are going on around us at this moment in time you know what feels right for you not what other people are saying media is saying you know everything around you is saying what feels right for you what's your gut saying to you what's your intuition your inner self telling you that um that is the truth for you to understand and to know you know Tie, tie yourself into the rhythm of your life, of how you operate, the way you think, the way you eat, you drink, you move, you sleep. 
This is the week to actually honour who you truly are and to dance your own unique path, to dance your story, to allow people to see who you truly are and that unique path that you, that you are on, that only you can be on. Um, and by being in that unique path, that unique being of you, understanding yourself, bringing all that information to you, you actually find that you start healing, not just yourself um, and your relationship with yourself, but your relationship with others around you. This is a great week for healing relationships, for bringing back harmony, because we all work well when we work as one, where we have that compassion, that harmony with each other. And that's what you've got a chance to do this week, is to bring back that harmony, that healing, to allow not just yourself, but others around you to heal as well. So this week really is a week about you. This is a week where you can look at the lessons that are going on around you. You can learn and understand from them. And if you step into yourself, you bring all parts of yourself back to you. You understand who you truly are. You'll be able to navigate those lessons. You'll be able to start that healing process, not just for you, but for others around you which in turn allows everyone to have that love, that compassion and that brighter future there and that we all want. So yeah, that's really all the cards are giving me this week. As always, this is my interpretation of the cards and when you um, listen to it, you see these cards, you may get a different interpretation and that's absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So the cards again are Lady Portia, Divine Order. Do what you feel is right, an important lesson is unfolding. Things always happen in the order they're supposed to. Go with the flow. Be who you truly are meant to be. The Shenika, Sacred Self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Who are you? What gifts, talents do you have? Dance your own rhythm, not the rhythm that is being told to you from others. Anada, soul flame, rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony and healing. When you truly understand yourself, you heal within and you heal without. So please do let me know in the comments whether this reading makes sense, you've got your own interpretation of the cards. As I always love to hear, um, from people, whether publicly or privately, and I always reply to everyone who, who actually comments. And of course, don't forget to check out everything I offer, my free gift of a PDF to connect with your guides, your angels, or a free future life guide meditation, um, and some other free gifts when you sign up to my weekly newsletter, which gives you all the information, reminds you of the card reading, what's going on and sometimes there's discounts and everything on there for you. Um, don't forget to uh, check out uh, my Friday show now at 3pm where I pull a card for everyone, do a guided meditation and then I will take three people and read a card for them as well um, for that. And of course, don't forget to check out my, my other show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday the 10th, is taking place on Monday 11th at 8pm UK time, where my guest is the lovely Katie Oman, and I'm really looking forward to having this conversation with her. Don't forget, if you're interested in the Soul Path Discovery Programme, um, I've not put it out there publicly fully yet, but if you're interested, do let me know and I can give you more details. Don't forget to check out everything else they offer. I, you know, I'm still doing past life regression, future life progression, angelic Reiki, um, either in person or online. So yeah, check out what I do. Take note of the cards this week. Have a wonderful week. Stay calm, yourself in peace. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.